This is the future. Morning guys and welcome back to Crypt Zone and this is day 3 and uh, we are going to start putting everything together so what I've done today so far starting this morning I have put back this engine mounting and I've torqued the bolts the torque specification for these bolts were 72 Newton meters I'm gonna do the back uh, main engine mounting and then I'm going to torque the bell housing bolts. Let's first do that. Then at least we know that the gearbox is definitely not going anywhere. The engine and gearbox is secured to the vehicle. Okay guys, so I've tightened and torqued all my bolts around the bell housing. All the engine mountings is on. The stand is gone. As you guys can see, no stand. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, bar back and tighten that down so let's do that okay guys the bar is up it's torqued and I also connected the joints and it's torqued so yeah we're going we're going it's going good okay guys the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect my clutch cable my gear linkage and the reverse gear switch as well as the speedometer cable then we know everything on the top is connected I've adjusted the cable so that the pedal is about um, the same height as the brake pedal and you can see here uh, it's just touching the the bearings just touching the plate so there's there's no pressure on it so that's why I adjusted it my uh, gear links is in, everything's working and all my cables are on so we are done at the top except for the battery that we still need to reconnect when we're done. So let's quickly finish putting in the CVs and reassembling the brakes so that we can get someone to step on the brakes while we tie down this uh, bolts for the wheels. And uh, yeah, let's just quickly finish the whole assembly. Then we need to top up the oil and we can take it for a test drive. Okay guys, this was actually quite easy. Just put the bottom back. I'll adjust it now. I'm gonna put those two bolts in. The CV joint went in very easily into its place. And now we're just gonna tighten and torque everything down. Okay guys, at this time, I just replaced that bolt with a new one, both sides. And I have hand tightened this nut. We're going to torque them once the brake shoes are on because I need someone to hold the brake for me while I torque it otherwise the wheel is just going to do this you know it's just going to turn and turn and turn so I want to do that so the next step we to take the brake calipers and put them back on the wheels on both sides okay guys the brake calipers are on just going to quickly see what is the torque spec for this one and then I'm going to get the wife to come and step on the brake for me while we talk these bolts before we put the split pins through. Okay guys, I quickly phoned CV Master. So the torque specification for this bolt nut is 250 Newton meters. I've got the brake stepper there. The brake stepper is going to step on the brake while I torque the nut. Okay guys, this was nice. I torqued the nut 250 and after torquing it, the hole lined up perfectly for the split pin to go into I just put my split pin in there and uh, we are good to go I'm just gonna finish the other side and then we're going to top up the well okay guys you see this um, air breather here we take it off and this is where you're gonna fill your well okay guys I've topped up the well with 1.6 liters of gearbox oil everything is assembled so you know what time this is time to put on the wheels get the car off the stands and then we're going to start it and see if it actually moves guys the job is done the battery is reconnected so 
So let's quickly see if the reverse switch is working. Because um, when I washed it, there might have been some water that, that went in there and so on and so forth. I'm in reverse. Switch off the radio. Uh, switch on the power. And see if my reverse lights. Yeah! Reverse lights are working. Let us put in neutral. Shall we start the car? And see if there's any freaky noises, grinding noises, big bang noises, or anything stupid like that. And then we'll see if we can go back and forward. First gear. Hey, first gear, it's moving. Reverse. I've got reverse. Yeah. Okay guys, I made it to the fuel station and this car drives absolutely fantastic. The gears are going in smoothly. I have no issues with catching all the gears. The clutch is leaving, is, is releasing perfectly. No strange noises, nothing, 100%. That's it guys, another job professionally done by me. No oil leaks, no strange noises, no issues. Driving smoothly, catching all the gears. Uh, so yeah, and the clutch is releasing properly. So I'm happy. Now I have to sort out this mess. And then for the next video, please stay tuned. I got this product from Builders. They guarantee me that this stuff will eat all the oil off this ground. As you can see, there's old oil marks, very old oil marks, new oil marks from uh, the gearbox oil. And we're gonna test out this product and see if it's as good as they claim it to be so stick around for that one hey guys if you like this video please consider subscribing to this channel give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel and feel free to drop a comment then something new for you all there's now a facebook page so feel free to follow me on my facebook group we will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to. By clicking on the podcast icon, you'll be taken straight to the Anchor podcast page where I do my podcast. And remember, when you go to my YouTube page, there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel. Um, and remember, if you have any comments, please feel free to drop me an email. And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.